Hello again everyone, this is Renato Martinez and with another Blender tutorial. This time I will be showing you how to effectively use the Edit Link Library add-on in Blender that was developed and instigated by Jason Van Gomster or Fweeb, Basam Cordali, and Pablo Vasquez which you might all have heard of. Uh, this is really a nifty add-on that I suggest every player artist should be making use of and exploiting. So before we do begin, uh, I wanted to explain to you the concept of uh, library linking and links in Blender. So basically library linking is bringing in assets which include objects, groups, and whatnot from different sources into a destination scene file. So this destination scene file can be anything like uh, a single blend file or multiple blend files that contain sources from other blend files. So like in here, uh, this is one of my earlier projects last year, I believe. Uh, it's called Good Morning Life and all the assets you can see here, well most of it actually um, is library linked from another blend file. For example here, I have selected the totem. This this is coming from a totem that blend file which is then linked here into the scene file. So almost all of this actually has their own blend files. So what this means is I have a better organization and a better, better structure of my uh, system and my files actually. So for example, uh, presuming I haven't done the linking here, I have modeled all objects entirely locally on one file and the file crashes, the file gets corrupt, corrupted and I have no way of recovering them. So that's such a bummer, right? So I have to do it all over again, model each piece, and I don't believe I have the patience for that. So linking does save me in a way that I have all these props uh, present in another location. So whatever, whatever happens to this file, it gets corrupted, gets destroyed. I can just restore these files and won't do any uh, remodeling or retexturing or whatever. I just link them in, position them, and whatnot, and I still have a new scene file that's as fresh as before. And in addition to that, there's only two things I could think of right now. Uh, in addition to that, it's also memory efficient. So if this was modeled all in one file, it would take up a huge chunk of space on my drive. But right now, let's see, it's only taking up yeah, you can believe this. It's only taking up like three something megabytes where it could have taken like roughly around 300 plus or something. Okay, so moving on, let's open up another blend file here. I have named this file scene.blend, which contains relatively nothing, no objects, no cameras, no lights, and what have you. So. However, I have set up the folder hierarchy in such a way that I have my parent blends folder here. Then under the blends folder, I have props folder and a scene folder. The scene folder basically contains just one file. So it's the scene blend file, which is this empty scene. And under the props folder, I have three assets or three blend files called cone, cube, and sphere. Let's try opening one of them. So let's open the first one. It's cone.blend. <clears throat> just me. So it just contains this. It's a primitive cone. Uh, you'll notice that it's outlined green, which means it is under a group, which I have named cone for a purpose. Because I'll be linking in the group later on. But you, you'd have the option of linking in objects or anything. I just wanted to prefer linking in the groups. Uh, the cube, oops, sorry. The cube that blend contains just a single cube. The cube group and lastly the sphere the sphere group okay so let's go back to the scene file let's try linking in uh, all those three assets here in the scene file so to do that we will go to file and link as opposed to append append brings in the file locally so it defeats the purpose of linking actually so it's just uh, making the External file, local here, uh, if you get what I mean. So let's try linking. 
So link. Let's go back up here and select cone that blend, which is under the props folder. Cone that blend. Then underneath cone that blend, we will see a group folder because I've created a group a while back. But if you haven't created a group, you could always go under the object and select whatever object you want there. But since I've created a group, I will go under the group folder and double click cone or just click the cone name here and link append from library. So now I have this cone in my scene blend file, not locally, but it is linked, which means that I don't have full control over this. It's just object mode, which you'll notice here. It's just in object mode where I could have a couple of more things like edit mode, sculpt mode, whatever. So even if I do select this one and press tab, nothing's happening because it's locked. So I can only modify this object locally in its own file, which is cone.blend under the props folder. So let's move this aside to the left. Let's bring in the two other objects. So file, link, moving up, cube.blend, group, and cube. Move that over to the right. Then the last one is the sphere. So sphere.blend, group, and sphere. Okay, so now that we have this three, let's it's a good time to save. So file, save. It's, I'm just saving that this scene that blend file. So all these three are now referenced to their own blend files, which means if I create a change in their in their own file, uh, whatever that may be, uh, lighting, texturing, uh, the mesh, the topology, whatever, as long as as long as it's within that group that I have linked a file back. So this one has the name, has has a group name called Cone. This one has the group name called Sphere, the Cube, etc. So for example, I added, or let me just show you how that works. Okay, we select this Cone object uh, and let's open that blend file, which is under Props folder, Cone, the blend. So here we have the cone object here. Say I wanted to modify the cone. Uh, let's make this real quick in such manner. So I have modified and added spiky looking thing and save this blend file. So control S, save. And let's get back to the scene file. And you'll notice that the change we did to the cone that blend file is being reflected here already at the scene file because it is being uh, referenced to this. So for fun, let's do a few more changes to the other two objects, the sphere and the cube. So let's go again to the props folder, sphere. And let's just add a color here. Uh -huh. You put colors to make it dark red and save and go back again okay so that's about uh, library linking in blender basically uh, I know some some of you out there have more profound example of this but this is the simplest I could think of so you notice um, that it was a bit cumbersome and uh, dragging to keep uh, reopening the local asset files and going back to the main scene file, opening again, updating, etc. That's where the edit link library add-on comes in. And it's very handy and very nifty. So to enable the add-on, let's go to File, File, uh, User Preferences or Control Alt U, and then enter under Add-ons tab. Let's type here under the search field library or live you'll notice i have it active already if not just check the checkbox and close it then the entry for that is available on the uh, the toolbox menu so under the relations tab by the way thanks for the ui guys for this fantastic tab system okay so now if we do select the sphere for example We'll notice here uh, 
under the relations tab down under we have a new entry called edit link library and we have a button here saying edit library sphere and just have the auto save enable so it saves the scene file then it opens another uh, file or whatever of your choice that whatever selected so in this case if i do select sphere it says edit library sphere if i select cone edit library cone and so on and so forth so let's select sphere and edit library sphere once we click this it opens up the sphere plan file which is kind of cool so it alleviates the file open uh, file open again thing that has that is uh, pretty cumbersome like i said a while back so it just automates the process for you so for example we wanted to change it here uh, wanted to add a few modifiers to this one okay then under the same entry if you press t for toolbox and under relations tab we could see another button here saying return to original file which was the file we have opened a while back which is yeah, you guess it's right seeing the plan file so if we click this one with the auto, auto save enabled it will save this file before opening the other one so let's just click this and voila we have the sphere updated in our scene so this is also useful for uh, multiple artists environment or studios uh, that kind of setup so for example we have one artist working on the cone one on the sphere and one on the cube then it is just being consolidated and being uh, what do you call it collected into one blend file then whenever that blend file is being opened all of the updates that each each and every artist does is being updated here so that's quite cool and going back to the good morning life scene almost all of the assets here are library linked and with the help of the add-on it made my life easier so for example we select uh, let's select this thing here select the toy horse or something and oops yeah okay let's select the table then press t then click edit library bedside table and it opens the bedside table and i can do whatever i want here then go back to the relations tab again then once i've made the changes return the original file and the changes are being updated here so it's really cool i love this add-on thank you so much to jason van kamster uh Asam Cordali and pablo vasquez for making this available for all of us so that's it uh and before i end up this is just the folder structure i have made which is kind of messy so i have the scene file located under the scene folder with uh, this one here so it's just 3.2 mb in size then sorry i have a couple of assets here the one that we opened a while back is called i think table bedside or bedside table yeah so it's somewhere here so from the scene file it's automatically locating the file here opening it up then going back there again to the scene file which is this so that's all there is to it um thank you for listening and hope to see you soon bye